Today we're going to go on board the 2017 Sunreef 74 Amelie. Before we go inside, I just want to emphasize that Sunreef are very well known for making semi-custom boats. Every interior is built to the individual owner's requirements, their tastes, their characters, fit and finish, features, layout, everything can be done to suit the individual owner. So while this wasn't the original owner, he's done it to suit his own character. So let's go inside and take a look at the main salon. Here we are in the main salon. We've got a uh, wine fridge. Uh, there used to be a, a, a humidor in here that was made out of glass. It took a flying leap one day out at sea, so it's, it's no longer there. And the built-in coffee bar. Uh, the light system is all programmable for all the lights inside. You can have a variety of different colors, as you can see from the spectrum. Um, whatever color you feel, whatever mood you're in. And this again highlights how Sunreef will do a lot of custom interior work for each ind individual owner. Uh, case in point being the table. Table is designed as a coffee table at the moment, but in, uh, in dining mode, it is about twice the size and you can get uh, eight to 10 people sitting in here for, for dinner. couple of uh, lounging areas up on the top that uh, when you've got the TVs down, uh, you can relax. Kids on board, they can have an afternoon watching a Disney movie uh, on one of the twin 55 inch LED TVs, which come down from the ceiling. This is the main navigation station for the boat. Uh, the screens, multiple screens, dials for the engines, engine controls. The boat has a yacht controller, so uh, the captain can be alone on board the boat, docking it from any location that he feels comfortable at. All the blinds they go up and down and uh, they're all electric. And we've got the electric door here that uh, opens up into the forward cockpit seating area. So when you're at anchor, uh, you can open the main salon doors, have a very, very nice breeze blowing through the boat if you don't want to have the air conditioning running. The area here is just used as a uh, little office space to do the administration work for the boat, deal with accounts, maintenance records, as storage underneath everything up here. This uh, countertop has the starlight, the little uh, fiber optic lights in it, so when lit, it gives uh, quite an interesting effect. Moving aft into the main salon. This is the compression post for the mast. As with many of the newer catamarans, the masts are getting moved further aft. So this is providing a smaller boom, a more easily managed mainsail, a larger fore triangle, and it cuts down on the pitching moment while at sea. We've got a uh, maker and drinks fridge, so uh, no guest should ever be without some kind of uh, cold beverage. Initially, this boat was set up with a large couch here. The owner didn't require so much seating area inside, but opted to have this custom cabinetry made to hold all the dishes, uh, which he felt was far more important than taking up space 
in the galley. So uh, glasses in one, dishes in another. You've got serviettes, napkins, whatever you need. Uh, the other side is going to have dishes. And above it, in a separate drawer, is uh, all the cutlery. So everything is right here for dining in the main salon or dining in the cockpit. Uh, this owner felt that this was a far more practical use of space than just another seating area when you have multiple areas throughout the boat. From the main salon, we've got good access down into the galley. It's uh, considered a chef's galley with great appliances and lots of space. This is the great galley here on Amelie. Lots of cold storage. Over and under fridge freezer, two of them. Uh, underneath the floors, there are some small chest freezers. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We've got the microwave, the oven, cooktop. A uh, great place to do lots of cooking if you really wanted to. Plenty of storage, drawers for utensils and anything you need for cooking, storing, a nice view, uh, which is very important for any cook, as they will know if you put them in a hole, they don't like it. Also in the galley, they used to have the washer and dryer here. As we'd seen uh, previously, the dryer was moved out into the cockpit and the space where the dryer was has been used as a pantry, far more efficient, uh, practical use of space. Um, you can never have enough storage on a boat. As you can see, we've got very deep bilges. A lot of space to be used as, as you see fit for extra storage. And again, as mentioned, where they put a couple of small chest freezers for extra cold storage. The master cabin is in the starboard hull with a king size bed, very large, expansive cabin, custom cabinetry, ensuite head and shower with a multi colored lighting system. Starboard forward cabin features a large double bed, hanging closets, and ensuite head and shower, again with the multicolor lighting system. The port forward cabin is a mirror to the starboard forward cabin, featuring the same uh, exotic features, and also with the fold down TV from the ceiling, as all the cabins have. Aft cabin is uh, midships and again with a large double bed, a little bit lower this one since it's not over the hulls. Again, ensuite head and shower, multicolored lighting system and fold down TV from the ceiling. All the cabins have large picture windows with blinds for privacy. Okay, so there we are. We've been around the exterior of Amelie. We've been through the interior. She's a great boat. She's ready for a new owner. Please contact me at the details on the screen. I'm happy to answer any questions, provide additional information. I'm Michael Harris. This has been my pleasure. Have a great day.